the impressions is that uh, we came with a target, and the target is to do our best to um, try tomorrow to progress for the first, for the next round. Mm -hmm. The rest of the things is um, nice, but we didn't come like tourists. So. So we were not like tourists. We had a goal to show the best result tomorrow and go further. And it's true that we had some problem with the air conditioning. The car so was not easy to come. <laughs> okay, I will want to speak something about us and about um, the game tomorrow. For uh, our club and for our team, this summer was a very hot summer because many changes happened in this summer. Seventeen players from last season left the club in this summer. Many players that um, are in the national team of Romania and, and that in the past made good performance for Astra in the Europa League groups. In Europa League last year, went out of the groups, so very good performance for Astra. Last, last year, in Europa League groups, the, the team went out of the groups, made very good performance. So this summer was a new start for the team and for the club. Um, a change also the technical staff. I came a new coach and together with me 14, 15 new players. So we are speaking about a new team. With much younger players. But players in which I trust that together we can build again a very strong team for Astra. The period was very short. But we did our best to try to prepare for the new season, meaning the Romanian Championship and also the Europa League. We had uh, six games in 17 days and this was not easy for us. Especially because most of the players came in time, we didn't have all the team in the preparation period. But our start was positive in the Romanian Championship and also in Europa League. We progressed from Zira, from Azerbaijan. And even all these problems in this summer, we still believe in us that tomorrow we can make a good game in uh, progress for the next round. But of course we expect a very difficult game. With the team that uh, I saw with a good game organization. Strong team with powerful, strong players. Physically. And uh, we hope that we will be prepared for this. I believe that this would be the biggest concern for me, the physical part.
Фізичний стан гравців буде найбільшою турботою для мене. To try to recover the, the fitness, the tonus of the players. Щоб вони відновили свій фізичний тонус. It was not just six games in 17 days, but also a lot of travel. We travel in Azerbaijan, we came back, now we travel here. Тобто це не тільки шість ігр за 17 днів, а ще й час на подорожі туди, назад, чи в Азербайджан. Це зайняло сили. Sunday we play again. Very far from home in the Romanian Championship, we have to travel again. Добно, ми в неділю грали дуже далеко від дому, тому теж подорожували. So if you checked our games until now, I try to to use almost all the players I have in the squad, even some of them are very, very young, and I did this rotation system just to have also physical potential. За цей час використовувалися всі гравці, і ця вся система ротації придумана для того, щоб їм було легше. Even many of them are for the debut in Europa, the young players especially. Особливо наймолодші гравці, які дебютують в лізі Європи. We trust in them and we give them trust 100%, so probably even tomorrow can have some changes in the first 11. Ми їм дуже довіряємо, даємо кредит довіри, і на завтра ми сподіваємося, що вони покажуть результати. Дякую вам дуже. Ще запитання, прошу. Роман, спасіба, Дварда. Діло в тому, що вона говорила, що 50-50, 50 на 50 шансів. Но, подожди, але у нього є шанс забити гол на цьому полі. Це не преимущество. Uh, it was written in the booklet that uh, your chance is 50-50, but it is a great chance to uh, make a goal here on the, uh, in the away uh, game. Yes, but uh, from the first game, my conclusions were that it was a very balanced game. Not too many chances from one side to the other. З жодної сторони не було так набагато більше шансів, тобто 50 на 50. Both team showed like they know the opposition well. Обидві команди показали, що вони супротивника добре знають. And the truth is that none of us took too many risks. І справа в тому, що правда в тому, що жодна з сторін не ризикувала. But tomorrow things will be probably different. Але завтра, можливо, все буде по-іншому. Have you final answer to questions? Who will start the game tomorrow? Start eleven of your team. Ninety percent of the night. Sorry, can you speak alone? We use in our original session after the translation. Okay. To speak? Long, long, long. No, 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 short. I'll give time to translate. You want? For me, it's better to speak long because I finish faster. Okay. Краще, звичайно, перекладати потну, говорити подовше, щоб Okay, so of course, probably 90% of the first 11 it's in my head already. Together with the staff, we discuss. We have some small problems, injuries, which. We await some answers after the training tonight and probably tomorrow morning. And then for sure we will try to fix the best possible 11 for tomorrow. To try to put some players inside which can bring some new tonus because I saw Alexandria made many changes in the last game in the championship and we didn't. We needed the points at home in the last game in Romania. So we, we, we try to put the best team possible. Tomorrow can be some changes, and I hope that we are with uh, inspiration after the game, after hopefully 90 minutes, to have the qualification. So, близько 90% складу на завтра вже тренера в голові є. Проте у них є невеличкі проблеми, певні травми і. Вони чекають на певні відповіді, які будуть вже завтра, чи будуть ці гравці, які травмовані так. Але все-таки будуть намагатися, щоб це був найкращий варіант. Звичайно, вони розуміють, що в Олександрії теж сталися певні зміни, проте на завтра вони значить, з повні дупи перемоги і так далі. І 
На завтра це буде найкращий варіант. Я вам ще запитання, що ви мені прошу. Якщо ви маєте питання, який настрій і відчуття у команди перед матчем Матеус. So, to Mateo, so your feelings, your mood towards the tomorrow match and so on, so what did you explain, impressions? Um, like Coach said, we didn't come here like a tourist, we came here to do our job and our job is to perform as best as we can and to, to win the game and to progress in the next uh, round of qualifications. So, uh, we have, you can say, a lot of alibis, a lot of excuses in heavy schedule, but our job is to, to do our best and we believe that... Uh, with, with our quality, with our preparation that we can go through. So we came here with that goal in our mind. So they, as I said, the trainer, they came here not as tourists, but it's their job, and they hope to win both the win and the win, and not only on the fact that they have a very difficult graphic. Of course, it's problematic, but at least they hope to show the result, to move in their group. І це це їхня робота. Вони саме для цього сюди приїхали. Як вам дуже ще є запитання? Немає запитань. Дозвольте тоді побажати всього самого.